Yeah, LeBron, to start with you, you've been in situations before, uh, you know, up 1-0 in a road arena, expecting that type of desperation. Uh, how did you try to convey that to your teammates the last couple of days? And, and, you know, were there were there difficulties with that, just the whole team matching what Memphis did tonight in general? No, I mean, it wasn't. It not need to be a discussion. I mean, at the end of the day, we understand what a series is all about. I mean, uh, you know, it's not the first of one win or two. It's the first of four. And um, you got to prepare each and every game. Every game is its own entity. So, you got to prepare for that challenge. And um, you know, I feel like we was prepared tonight. Um, we just didn't execute as well as we did in game one uh, for close to 48 minutes. Um, so they made adjustments. We made some adjustments. And you know, you, you tip your hat to them. They, they played a, a, well, a well of a game tonight. AD, obviously not your typical offensive night. Just wondered what you saw, the way they were defending you, and some of the shots that you were missing. I saw Tip. I just missed him. Um, a lot of shots close to the rim. Normally, you know, make, go in. Uh, you know, flush it, get ready for Wednesday. Or well, whatever day we play, Friday, Saturday. So. Hey. Uh, LeBron, one of the points that Darwin brought up, thinking in the moment ways to get things going a little bit more, is playing with more pace, but not just getting up and down the court in transition, but in the half court in terms of setting screens and, and matching physicality, opening up angles. Uh, is that? Do you think that's the type of basketball we'll take against the Grizzlies considering their makeup as you know, one of the more physical teams? Um, yeah, we definitely could play with more pace. Um, I think they did a good job of um, they switched a lot of our pick and rolls today, which kind of stalls your offense out. So, um, you know, we're trying to go to a lot of the mismatches once we got the, the, the mismatch after the pick and roll and it kind of got us down in the shot clock and we was playing up against the shot clock a lot, especially in the second half. So, you know, we got to watch the film and see ways that we can get into our offense early and then when they do switch, we can, you know, make plays happen so we're not playing up against the, uh, against the shot clock. D, despite you're not – you're not your typical shooting night, and, and you know, some other guys struggle from the field. Six-point game with three minutes to go. What does it tell you about your group that, you, despite all the things that, that weren't going well for you guys tonight, you made it a game, and, and can you carry in that momentum back to game three? Yeah, we're going to keep fighting no matter what. No matter what type of game we're having, offensively, defensively, uh, individually as a team, uh, you know, we always keep fighting. Um, so like I said, you know, six-point game, three minutes, still had a chance to <clears throat> possibly win a game. And uh, that's all we can ask for, a fight. Uh, you know, obviously I have to be better uh, with that group. Um, can't have a night like I had tonight and expect us to win. But, uh, you know, I think we'll, be, we'll look at the film um, over the next couple of days and, and be ready for Saturday and uh, make some adjustments and uh, try to get a win at home. <coughs> AD, we, we see the cut. Um, did that have any effect at all um, after you got kind of hit in the eye um, in the first half? No. And then early on, from an energy standpoint, both teams got off to really kind of rocky shooting starts. How did that kind of change? Do you think that energy sort of affected you guys that, you know, you were in that position, neither team was making shots, and it felt like you couldn't really gain any ground on them? No. Uh... You know, they were playing with a lot of pace. We were playing with pace, obviously. You know, both games, I mean, both teams know the importance of this game. You know, us trying to go up 2-0 and them trying not to fall down 0-2. Uh, you know, we, we missed shots. Um, you know, they missed shots. And, um, you know, we only scored 19 points in the first quarter, you know, which is not like us. So, uh, you know, we got to make sure we do a better job. But, um, you know, we'll be fine. Uh, th this one's for, for either of you, but with yeah, some other shit. <laughs> with uh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Oh wait. Um, with, with Tyus replacing Jaw, what what kind of challenge do, does he provide in his pick and roll style, and, and just kind of some of the, the tweaks to their offense that you guys noticed today? No, I mean they don't miss a beat. Uh, when Tyus goes to the to the starting lineup. Uh, they're just uh, as a dangerous team when ties is starting, um, you know. So they don't miss a beat, and we we knew that. We, uh, you know, no matter if Jaws in the game, uh, if Jaws starting, dangerous. If Ty is starting, dangerous. So it, it didn't change our approach.
Uh, obviously, you know, towards the end of the regular season, you know, uh, you know, with the turnover on the roster and you coming back from injury, you know, there was a race, now, obviously, not just to get into the playoffs, but also to, for you guys to learn how to play together. And I'm just wondering where you guys feel you are right now in terms of, you know, in the process of becoming the team you want to be. Uh, I mean, every game is is, uh, is another opportunity for us to get better, for us to continue to learn each other. Like you said, we're relatively new to a lot of the competition that's in the field, you know, not only the Eastern Conference, but the Western Conference as well. So, you know, every night, um, you know, when we step on the floor, you know, now in the postseason, we we get to see what we're, what we're capable of and where we are uh, as far as our growth. And, um, you know, tonight was another moment for us to grow, and we did. Last three, we'll take BT, we'll take this gentleman here in the back, and then in the past when you haven't had your best games in the playoffs and you come back strong how much are you looking forward to game three uh looking forward to it i wish we could play tomorrow um i say get home a couple of days rest a couple of days of film and uh i'll be ready for game three for sure LeBron, one more thing on Tyus. As such an unflappable player, really decision maker, as somebody who values each and every possession, knowing how important they are, what can you appreciate about his game in particular? Um, I mean, he's just a true professional. Um, no matter if he's starting, no matter if he's coming off the bench, plays the same style. You know, like I said, before the series started, um, I think over the last five or six seasons, he led the league in assist turnover ratio. So to let you know, he's not out there ever making mistakes. He plays winning basketball. He's been playing winning basketball probably since he was a kid, all the way through high school, through Duke, and so on and so on. So, um, you know, he's a big time, big time player in our league, and um, you know, it always shows. It always shows in the stat sheet with him. Last question, LeBron. Uh, although you lost this game too, you still have the home court advantage uh, of the whole series. How do you uh, assess the team chemistry right now? Do you think uh, you have reached the best team chemistry, or there are still some space to improve? There's always room to improve, and um, you know, um, you know, it's a one-one series. Both teams are tied. Um, both teams feel like they can win on each other's floor, on the on opponent's floor. So, you know, it gives us no uh, comfort that we're going home and we shouldn't feel comfortable going home uh, with a 1-1 tie, you know. Um, you know, game three is the most important game of the series. And uh, if we're not uncomfortable going into that game, they can very easily come in our hometown and uh, our home court and take the series back. So, um, you know, we like you said, we got a day tomorrow to, to regroup, another day on Friday to, to hit home and, and, and zone in on what needs to be done. And then on Saturday is, um, is back to the four lines, you know, uh, what happens in between the four lines on the court. So. I'm excited about the opportunity to play again, play again, another playoff game, and um, I believe this is our first. Uh, this is our first game at at the house, huh? In front of our fans, ain't it? In the postseason, first time. So I'm excited. I'm excited for that. All right, appreciate it.